Hi guys, today we will take a look on how to build offline charts which can be used for <coughs> backtesting. It could be used either to backtest uh, expert advisors on the offline Renko charts or you could as well use it for visual backtesting. So by the end of this video you would be able to use the MT4 strategy tester and uh, build the offline charts for visual backtesting or for uh, testing the uh, expert advisors as you can see on the chart. Now in order to get this up and running you need a couple of tools. The first being Tick Story Lite. Now this is a free application that you can download. What this uh, does is simply allows you to plug into Dukuscopy and uh, allows you to download the tick history. It also enables you to then convert the CSV file into FXT which is then copied into your MT4 folder and then that data is converted to the offline, uh, offline data. You can download Tick Story Lite by going to tickstorylite.com or click on the link in the video description. Besides Tick Story Lite, you also need to have uh, a couple of scripts. Most importantly, the CSV to FXD Renko mod script. You can purchase this script from AZ Invest or just click on the link in the video description. Um, it costs you around uh, 30 to 40 dollars. It's not really a, a, a huge price and it can be very helpful if you want to test drive your strategies or uh, if you want to run a couple of EAs on the Renko charts. Okay, so let me pause the EA. Okay, due to the uh, fact that uh, downloading of uh, data takes a lot of time, I've already downloaded um, AUD JPY TIG data from the period of 1st January 2015 to 13th June 2016. Let me quickly show you how to download the data. Select a uh, currency pair of your choice. Right click, click on download, select the dates. And click OK and it would automatically start downloading the data. Now, bear in mind that if you keep downloading too much of data, you, your, your IP address would be blocked. So make sure to use, uh, use this feature carefully. Once the download starts, you need to wait for a while until the entire download is complete. And once that happens, you can then right click on that same currency and select export to file. You get a pop-up. You don't need to make any changes. The output format, make sure that it's predefined and it's Brits CSV to FXT format. Make sure that uh, the folder is correct. This, the destination folder has to be the one from your MetaTrader 4, which you can access by clicking on files and open data folder. So once you have the uh, correct uh, destination folder, click OK and uh, the conversion process starts. Now once the conversion process is completed, it would dump the file into your data folder of the MetaTrader 4 and from there as you can see the AUD JPY is uh, building up right now. Once it's copied, you can then copy this file and move it to MQL4 and files, following which we will use the script to convert the data. So I'm going to pause the video here for a while uh, until the uh, process is complete and then we'll pick it up back from there. Okay guys, so we're back and uh, the export has been completed. 
So as you can see, you have the AUD JPY CSV file here. Now we select the file, move it to MQL4 files and paste. And at the same time, we also open the AUD JPY chart, a one minute chart. Now, this process that is outlined in this video is for visual backtesting only. There are other processes involved if you want to backtest the EA. Uh, a more detailed outline is given on the uh, link provided in the video description where you need to make a couple of changes to the expert advisors file which means that uh, you need to have the MQL4 file format and not the EX4 but uh, if you would like to simply visually backtest your strategies then uh, the procedure outlined here should be more than enough Okay, so the file transfer is complete. Now, the next step is to add the Renko mod script. Drag and drop and you are presented with a couple of options. Select the bar size. I will select 30 pips. Use first Renko pip offset. Set it to true so you have all the round numbers and leave the, the, the remaining settings as is. Click OK. And you have the initializing label shown on the chart and the conversion process starts off. Now again, uh, I will pause the video and once we get closer to 100%, we will resume. Okay guys, so we are at 98% now and the script has been converting the CSV file into FXT and once the completion is done, you would be receiving the message right here. So processing for AUD JPY has finished. Would you like to move the FXT files to the tester history folder blah blah blah. Click yes click yes and then you're prompted to restart your MD4 platform okay folks so I've restarted the platform and uh, let's go to AUD JPY okay so there you have it click start and I'm using the visual mode and uh, as you can see the Renko bricks are printing as expected let me change the template to the moving average and uh, here we go using the visual mode you can click pause and uh, rewind and well basically it gives you a lot of uh, options uh, which you otherwise wouldn't have gotten if you were waiting for the markets to unfold in real time so guys i hope this tutorial has been helpful for you um, i personally find uh, the visual back testing for renko to be a great way to test your strategies and uh, if you have any questions feel free to comment and uh, let me know have a good day